Welcome to Sports Circle 345. Please subscribe to the channel or leave a like if you haven't done so. I'd like to play this video of Sharika Jackson of an interview that I saw earlier this week and I thought it was rather interesting. One of the things that grabbed me when she said she was mentally depressed at one point in time and this goes to show that we see athletes out there and performing on the track and we don't know what's going on or what they have been through. So sometimes instead of saying negative things, we say one positive to encourage them. I was Please on, take all a look at the video. As a child. So I don't think I had anybody personally in my space like that to say, okay, this is how I feel and they were like, okay, then I try to help me. So when 2020 came, mm -hmm. it was really, really rough because now I start to struggle more mentally. I remember when I went to a doctor, I think I was just getting a random checkup. And as I sat, sat in her office and she was like, you're okay? And I just started crying. I started crying so hard, she asked me if I was okay. And I said, yes. Because I'm, if, if you see me crying and you ask me if I'm okay, I'm going to say yes. Because I don't want to feel like, oh, I'm sorry for him now. Nah, I don't like that. I think I'm strong, I'm very strong. You know strong people cry? Did you know that? Do you know that being able to express your emotions is a part of strength? I don't know. Your therapist never tell you? She told me recently. Yeah. <laughs> she told me recently. I, mean, I tried to enjoy it, but it was bad. I started... So many bad things happen because I would, I, I'm an overthinker. Yes, ma'am. So I overthink a lot. And I think for me personally, to de be dealing with that injury, to deal with me, because I never had a lot of purses around me. Deliberately so? Sometimes. I think um, at the time, I don't think me and my mother was in a good space. Me and my friends, some of them not living in Kingston. I, I will just have a mental breakdown and I was crying and mm, I feel better and I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, during 2020, every night I cried. And my friend didn't know and she was actually staying with me. Because I, yes. So every did night. you cry? When I was so sleep? depressed, I was feeling oh. broken badly. Yeah. And I cried every night. I think one night she actually saw me crying and she was like, she started crying because she didn't know what to do. But I've always told myself that I am strong, you know, and when I was much younger and things affected me and I cried, I think purses made me felt weak. Gotcha.